Can the Bills keep things rolling, and will the Jaguars stay atop the AFC South? Hey, everyone. Welcome into another NFL Breakdown. Rob Wong joined alongside by Post Media Sports Betting columnist Don Brennan and Toronto Sun NFL writer Dan Bilicky. Time to get there. Week uh, 12 against the spread picks. And, Don, we will start with you. The Bills have a tough test this week against the 9-1 and one Eagles. Philly, three-and-a-half-point home favorites in this one. Can Buffalo pull off the upset with their uh, new offensive schemes? Well, you know, everybody's giving uh, kudos to the Eagles for their big win in Kansas City over the Chiefs on Monday night. But, you know, I, I look at it a little bit differently. Um, they won 21-17, to 17, and that's because Patrick Mahomes just has a lousy group of receivers. I mean, they were horrible. Justin Watson dropped two passes. Marquez, Valdez, Scantling, I think I probably butchered his name, <laughs> dropped yeah. a sure touchdown pass. And, and Travis Kelsey even dropped a pass. Um, Mahomes had 177 yards throwing when it should have been over 300. Kansas City should have won that game. Eagles secondary sucks. They're 28th ranked. I think that Josh Allen, a little bit of renewed enthusiasm with their offense. Now they've got rid of their offensive coordinator. The change was made there. I think that Josh Allen comes out in an desperate mode, desperate mode really leads the Bills, and not just to cover, but I think they're going to pull off the victory in this one. All right, Dan, it's a massive battle in the AFC South with the Texans hosting the Jaguars. Jacksonville, one-and-a-half-point road favorites. Who's going to be atop the division after this matchup? You know what? The Jags will be looking for a little revenge after that big Week 3 loss to the Texans. And uh, they really kicked into gear with their offense last week by putting up 34 points against the Titans. And their defense has been solid this season, the whole season, ranking uh, sixth in DVOA. The Texans get a lot of hype thanks to C.J. Stroud's play, but you can't forget that he's still a rookie and does make mistakes. Uh, the Jags are the better team overall, I feel, in this one. The visitors also have the advantage in coaching experience with Super Bowl winner Doug Peterson, and I think they should score a key victory and win the, for the division here. Moving to the AFC North, Don, the Steelers and Bengals clash with Cincinnati set to begin life without Joe Burrow. Pittsburgh two-point favorites in this one. This feels like a lock that the Steelers should take this one, but how do you think it plays out? I think it's the easiest game on the slate this weekend. I think that the Steelers, um, you know, with with Matt Canada as their offensive coordinator, this is an interesting stat. I don't know if you guys know this, but they played, uh, they went 45 games without going over 400 yards of total total offense. 333 teams went over 400 yards of total offense in that span. So just gives you an idea of, of how much they struggled under this guy. I think they've got a, a renewed sense of enthusiasm about their offense. I think that they uh, go in, they face a Cincinnati Bengals team that doesn't have a real strong defense, isn't really good against the pass, and and isn't just very good at all. And now they've got uh, Jake Browning as their quarterback without Joe Burrow. Um, I I don't uh, you know I I would like to think that. Uh, Maybe they could get something going uh, on the run with Joel Mixon, but I think that the Steelers and their their run defense has been a lot better with Cameron Hayward um, back and going, and and I just think that they're going to shut them down uh, on both sides with the pass and the and the run game, and I think it's a, a big win for the um, Steelers. Finally, Dan, the Sunday Nighter has the Ravens visiting the Chargers. L.A. three and a half point home underdogs. Which way are you leaning in this one? You know what? It's all coming apart. The seams for the Chargers. This might be Coach Brandon Staley's last stand after his rant last week. Uh, last week's loss to the Packers dropped him to four and six. You know his team's defense is awful. It ranks twenty eighth in DVOA, and this guy's supposed to be a defensive mastermind. You know they lost Joey Bosa, so that's not helping either. And the offense just can't score enough to keep up, even though Justin Herbert is trying his hardest. Uh, we know the Chargers have zero home field advantage, so watch for uh, plenty of purple in the crowd. They're going to have plenty of opportunity to cheer. You know, it's going to be another feather in Lamar Jackson's cap for a possible MVP campaign. All right, there's four against the spread picks for week number 12. As always, let us know what you're betting on in the comments section below. For all of Don and Dan's NFL picks, head over to the Toronto Sun.